dust! Look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Didn't you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew, and it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mudpot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo.
I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm? I promise. If you can find all six of my sheep... Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. I don't believe it! Dust? Dust, is that you, mate? Augustine? Oh, what are you doing all the way out here? Why, I'm heeding the call of Grand Adventure! Venturing forth to seek my fortune in the wilds of this great, untamed wilderness. Actually, Cora asked me to show her the way to some old meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow. Right, that's it! Never was straight with names and faces and words. Did she see why she wanted to come here? This place is pretty... bleak. Nope. Just asked me to show her the way. Soon as she wandered into the meadow, this crazy magic barrier showed up. Right inconvenience, that is. Looks like we're not getting up these mountains, then. You say Cora just wandered off into the meadow? She may not look it, but she's a speedy little bugger. Right. Well, we'd better go look for her. This meadow isn't safe. Augustine, if you're not going to go back to Aurora, you'd better wait here. Way ahead of you, mate. I wait around better than anyone. Good luck out there. <laughs> <laughs> 